Hello, my name is Jess Garcia, and today I will be presenting um, on. Okay. My, all right, hello, my name is Jess Garcia. I'm a sophomore here at Dimension Design, and today I will start my PO with integrated math skills. So here's my homework completion chart. As you can see, I did most of my homework. My number check, I got a two. I did not do I didn't do homework number four because uh, I think I was like I was pretty lazy. But I started getting better. I started showing improvement. And I do understand my homework. Sometimes I just get lazy and don't do it. And for my assessment score chart, for most of my tests and quizzes, I got fours or above a four. For my corrections, again, I got lazy and I didn't do much work, so I didn't finish them. I sometimes I finish them, but I never turn them in. For my grade improvement, how I kept it, I kept a good grade because I studied for my test and I listened during I listened a lot during class, so I knew all the content. And this um, tests were really were the really the only thing that kept my grade up because I did very well on all of them. And then I paid attention and tried to remember everything during class. Uh, for my essential skill and learning target, I've been doing essential skill one and my learning target is like one point one and one point two. for my this is my quiz number one. The this is the only problems I got wrong that uh, I need to add X's Instead of measure two, it was a measure two and measure three. I had to do measure x, measure measure of angle x plus measure of angle three equals one eighty. You always have to have an x in your equation. And then for also for number four, I did measure of angle four is equal to measure of angle three x plus measure um, of angle four equals one forty because they're supplementary angles. And for my test one, I did. Um, I got it wrong that what intersects met, um, plane M H E, and I wrote that it was M and E, which is right here, but they're not supposed to be co coplanar. So then I changed it for my correction. I put that it's M H T that's co um, that intersects plane M H E. And then for quiz number two, I again. It was just little mistakes that this is the only um, parts I got wrong was that we need for the the second part of the the justification you're not supposed to write measures it's just an angle and for test part two I got everything right here I, but I didn't add x so to find out x you can do exterior angles which makes 5y minus 4 congruent to this angle right here, which is next to x. So that means that this is 5y minus 4. So 5y minus 4 plus x must equal 180. And then you do the math and you get x equals 3. And then to the French grade, I believe I deserve a B plus because I listen very well during class. I also do very well on my tests and do most of my homework. But I don't deserve the A that I have right now because even though I do most of my work and I understand everything, sometimes I get lazy and I don't do everything. And now we'll begin with chemistry. So for chemistry, I'm doing Unit 2.A. That's what I'm presenting for my PLL. And so the first essential skill is atomic structure and what makes an atom. So first of all, revolving around the nucleus of electrons. And in the nucleus are protons and neutrons, and the rest of the atom, which is 99.9% .9 is, and the rest of it is empty space. And then for experimental basis, first of all, first it's J.J. Thompson with his cathode ray tube, which he shot um, particles through atoms at to, to show that an atom can get even smaller. And he discovered the electrons, and he put electrons through a magnetic field, I think, and they went all to positive and repelled from negative, so it showed them that they were they were negative, the, the particles were negative, so he called them electrons. Next was Ernest Rutherford, which created he created the gold, the gold foil experiment, which shot particles like atoms through gold foil, and he saw that um, some bounced some bounced back and some went through, so that means there was a uh, dense that the 
the middle of an atom that's really dense. So he discovered the nucleus. And last, Chadwick teamed with Rutherford and he um, shot a uh, neutral, I think he found the, what was inside the nucleus, which is neutrons and protons by shooting through like polonium and beryllium. And the particles that came out were neutral because they, they weren't bothered in the And then strong nuclear force. It's the, um, the force that holds the nucleus together because in the nucleus there's protons which repel each other. And if without the strong nuclear force, all of them would just fly, fly in every direction. And this is only true for stable nuclei. If they are unstable, that changes. And now I'll be talking about isotopes. Isotopes are different version, versions of an atom. They have the same amount of protons, but different amount of neutrons. For example, like carbon-12, carbon-13, or carbon-14. And then my last one is radioactive decay, which is um, radioactive decay happens when an unstable atom emits radiation to stabilize the nucleus. So if it has like too many protons, or and alpha particles can be stopped by a sheet of paper. Beta particles can be stopped by a layer of clothing or a few millimeters of aluminum. And gamma rays can be stopped by several feet of concrete or a few inches of lead.